Hi, this is Glenda. Um, I have a basket of feathers. Um, that's how I store my feathers. And I thought it was time that I did something with some. Um, it is amazing how much you can fit in if you put them in Ziploc bags. Um, I mean, there's only a couple of packets, maybe a few more than a couple, but there's not that many packets of flowers in here, uh, feathers in here. Um, and yet, you know, they all pack into the one little basket. Um, the, most of these came in mixed assortments, and my granddaughter and I sorted them all into their colours, so I keep all of the different colours in different bags. And then I've got the marabou ones separately. They're one of those things that um, never go away. Once you buy some feathers, they will be with you forever, because it doesn't matter how many cards you make, you won't use them up. This is my philosophy on it. Um, they're quite an economical embellishment. And um, so I thought I'll, I'll start using some up. And when I had a look back at some videos that I'd done, I was amazed at how many videos I'd actually put feathers in. So I've made a little playlist. Um, so anyway, probably, there's a bit of pink on there, probably the most common thing we do is put feathers behind homemade flowers or bought flowers. But Putting feathers behind flowers would be the first thing, um, and probably most of us have already done that. So then I thought, well, I'll make the feathers into a flower. But then I stuck a cameo in the middle, and it kind of doesn't look like a flower anymore. But if I put a little flower center in, it would look more like a flower. Um, so if you want to make a flower, all you do is a, a sticky circle, stick some feathers around it, and you might need a bit of extra hot glue or something. Um, but I, I just use, you know, a double-sided adhesive circle. Start with that and then build it up. Um, these are the feathers from Feather Bowers that I have mentioned once before that were not a good buy. But for this they work quite well. So that's the first couple. Uh, the next thing would be that you can tuck your feathers in anywhere. So, you know, a nice peacock feather and I've made a feature of it. So it's pretty much an embossed card feather stick pin, bit of ribbon and you're done. Um, and I think that's quite effective. Uh, that could be a, a sympathy, get well, thinking of you. It, you can even go a bit more masculine if you used sort of perhaps a craft card stock or something and it becomes a masculine card. I think it might actually go... No, I don't even know which way I intended it to go. I think I intended it to go that way. Um, you can tuck it behind an embellishment just as when that sort of becomes a bit of a feature in itself. Um, you can tuck it into a bow so there's various ways you can do that but you can have it sort of going through the knot of your bow. Um, different types of feathers. There's some of the backgrounds from the other day, my holy distressed paint. Um, you can use it to sort of highlight an embellishment. Uh, that's some of the eggshell ones I did ages ago and another one of my backgrounds from the other day um, and I mean it's a background some feathers in an embellishment and the card as far as I'm concerned is done it can you know you can put a sentiment if you want but most of my cards go for unknown purposes often for people just to drop a note so that works quite well and you could probably give that to a guy depends on the guy some of them make a fuss and some of them don't so then you can make things with your feathers. I mean, an obvious thing is to make a bird because it's a feather. So um, that's another thought. You can either make the whole bird or just the tail. But to do the tail on a stamped image is really easy and I think that's quite effective. Um, skirts for dresses. Is that? Yeah, that's right. So I've made the little origami bodice and put my feather skirts on, which I've done before. Hats any hat so you might have a stamp of just a hat um, or in this case it's a hat on a person um, but feathers are good for that and just popping it in behind so uh, you know you could have a picture of anything and pop a feather in just a little accent on it and uh, for this one I made a fan so all I did was cut out a medallion fold it in on the angles and stick some feathers behind it instant fan so that's Another thought, and onto the last section, 
Obviously a pen is a fairly common one for people to do. Um, make it look like a quill pen. And I put a little slit at the top of the ink pot and just put the feather in um, into that slit. Actually for the hat as well, I put a little slit in here and then just pulled the feather in and that, that was a good way to anchor it. Um, this was a last minute idea to make a bow out of feathers and it was looking quite elegant and then I decided I'd try and curl the feathers a bit and so it got all raggedy looking. So I don't know whether it's worked or not but it's another suggestion. Butterfly from feathers. Um, I started off, I stamped, uh, stamped, I punched a little black um, butterfly out of a black card just to give me something to work on. Then I simply stuck feathers on the cardboard cutout. A um, couple of them happened to look like feelers, so I went with it and, and did that. Put a bling down the middle and you've got a feather butterfly. And the last idea is to actually stamp on the feather. Um, so there's, there's a few things to get you going if you've got a little supply of feathers and want to know what to do with them. I would love to hear more ideas if you've got them. Um, there's obviously it was just a case if I decided to stop at that point because I got sick of feathers. Um, but that's my little theme for this week and um, as I say it's not one of those supplies you're going to use up. They're going to be around and I have to stop myself buying feathers because I think I've got 10 lifetime supplies of feather but I still bought some the other day. Um, they were really soft and fluffy and couldn't resist. And most of the cards end up fairly feminine with feathers but I mean something like this you could give to a man. Obviously you could put happy birthday or something on it instead. Um, but yeah most of them are going to be fluffy and feminine. So uh, that's feathers. Thank you for watching.